Hello students, are you ready for your new language arts lesson for this week? Okay, let's begin. Before we go with our new lesson, let's first have a short review about our previous topic. First is solid. Now, do you remember what is solid? Solid is things that we can see and feel. Next one, we have liquid. Now, liquid is things that flow. And the last one, we have gas. Now, gas is, we cannot usually see them, but we feel them. Now, we have the three states of matter. We have the solid, liquid, and gas. For our lesson, please get your student book and also your workbook. Please get your workbook and open it on pages 22 and 23. Unit 3, Hot Springs. What do you notice? On this picture and on this picture, do you know what they are? They are hot springs. Hot springs are small lakes with hot water. In some hot springs, hot rocks on the ground of the spring heat the water. In others, the water heats up under the ground. When the water is very hot, some of it changes to steam. The water was a liquid and now it's steam, a gas. When hot steam meets warm air, we can see a lot of steam. When hot steam meets very cold air, we can see a lot of steam. Now, on page 23 on your workbook, what part of the text do you like? Check. Is it the lakes, the hot rocks, or the steam? Choose only one and put a check on it. Now, on letter B, still on your workbook, page 23, read the cost and effect. Circle true or false. Correct the false statement. So now, do you remember the cost and effect? Cost is why something happens. And effect is what happens after the cost. Okay? Now, let's begin. Number one, the cause is the water is very hot. Now, the effect is some of it changes to steam. Now, our answer is true. So, we don't need to put another statement under it because our answer is already true. Now, number two. Hot steam meet warm air. Now, the effect is we can see a lot of steam. Is it true or false? What's your answer? The answer is false. Now, because our answer is false, we have to change the effect. Instead of saying we can see a lot of steam, we change it into, what's your answer? Correct. We can't see a lot of steam. We change the word can and make it can't. Now, number three, hot steam meets very cold air. Now, the effect, we can't see a lot of steam. Is it true or false? What's your answer? False again. Now, because our answer is false, we have to change it. We have to change our sentence to make it correct. What will be our effect? 
we can see a lot of steam. Now, on letter C, answer the questions. Let's answer it all together, okay? Are you ready? Okay, let's begin. Number one, how does water in hot spring gets hot? Name two ways. So the first one is hot rocks on the ground of the hot spring hits the water. Now, what will be our second answer? It's correct. Water heats up under the ground. How about number two? Okay, number two, what is a solid at a hot spring? What's your answer? A rock. Okay, rock is a solid. Remember that one. Now, what is a liquid at a hot spring? It's the water, of course. Water is liquid. Now, on letter D, about you, answer the question. So, these questions referring to your own understanding on your own words, not based on the text that we read, okay? Now, for example, number one, when do you see steam in your house? When we cook food, very good. When your mom or someone is cooking meal and when you look at them in the kitchen, you will see steam coming out from the food that they are cooking. How about number two? What causes the steam in your house? Best example is, yes, the liquid gets heat up. That's the best scenario where you can see steam coming out. When the liquid gets heat up. Okay? Any questions? Very good. Unit 3. Simple past of the verb to be. Please get your student book and open it on page 33. Listen and sing along. The Snowman. Now, let's go to our next lesson, which is all about simple past of verb to be. Now, when you say simple past, these are the verbs that already happened. It happened maybe yesterday, in the morning, last week, last month, or ya last year. It means that the action being done is already happened. It's finished. Now, there are some rules that need to be followed in doing the simple past of verb to be. For example, it was a liquid. Now, it's a gas. Now, if you notice the red word there, was, that is one example that we should use in making sentences in simple past of verb to be. Another example, they were hard, now they're soft. Have you noticed the red word? Yes, it's where. Now, where is also used if your sentence is in simple past 
of verb to be. To even have more clarification about our new topic, for example, we have here the I. Now, we have now or the present and then then, which is the past. For example, in our present, we use am. In the past tense, you will be using was. And if you're using am not, you will be using wasn't. Now, you can only use am and am not if you're using I. For example, you will be using he, she, or it. Now, this is for singular. It means it's only one. So, we still have now, which is our present, and then then for our past. If we will be using is, then was should be used. If you will use isn't, then you will be using wasn't. Remember, this is for singular. Very good. Singular pronouns. If you will be using you, we, and they for the present tense or now, and then for then in the past tense, if you will use are, then in the past tense you will be using where. And if you will use aren't, in the past tense you will be using weren't. Remember, these are used if your pronoun is in plural form and exemption of the word you. You could be used in singular form and in plural form, but you will be using are, where, aren't, and weren't. Okay? Now, grade 2, for your homework, Please go to your Oxford Discovery Workbook, page 25, okay? Answer it! Have fun! Thank you so much, Grade 2, for your cooperation in our lesson for today. Goodbye!